Hey, how y'all doing? It's Craig here again. What I got here is a Quantum, Briggs & Stratton Quantum 6 horse. Uh, the thing was uh, actually huh, blowing oil out the exhaust that was so wore out. Um, what I'm getting ready to do, I've got everything stripped down, cleaned up. I'm getting ready to run the hone down throat. I've got rings and piston. And we're going to do the grind the valves and the seats and we're going to put it back together. But right now I'm just going to show you honing the cylinder. I do not have a ball hone that is small enough or big enough for this cylinder. So I'm going to use my old three stone hone. Break that glaze off there so the new rings can seat in. Just basically show you guys how I do it. This is neither the right way nor the wrong way. But this is just how I do it. I've got it clamped up in my parts washer. So all the stuff that's in there doesn't get thrown all over the shop. It's actually fairly clean doing it like this. So what I got, just my cordless drill. Like I said, this is my old three stone, three finger, whatever you want to call it. I'll just put it in there and I'll run it up and down several times and um, see if we can't break that glaze. And for lubrication and also to clean it out, I'm going to be using WD-40. This is use number whatever it may be. So let's get started here. And again, we're not trying to make this bore bigger. All we're trying to do is just break the glaze so it won't take very long. Get a little brick parts cleaner here. Take a rag and run down through it now. Tip this up here and let you see down in it again. If you notice, there's a little spot right there that it didn't get. The rest of it looks pretty decent. A couple little scores right there, so I'm going to go ahead and run it back in there a little bit longer. And see what we come up with again. This time I'm going to run it in reverse from what I did the first time. Stop it, press them in, don't just drag it out because that will leave marks in the cylinder too. Got a brake part cleaner here, let's clean it up a little bit more. I'm trying to keep from making the cylinder any larger than what it needs to be. Again, you can see that spot right there. I may not be able to get that spot clear out. It's kind of high in the cylinder. That's probably just about where the bottom ring would stop when the piston's at TDC, but we'll hit it one more time, see what we can get off of it, and then I'm going to stop, put it back in. I'm going to go the opposite direction from what I just went. So I'll be going the original direction clockwise like I did the first time. Battery's going dead. And what I've done there was kind of let it come up and out. Try to put just a little chamfer on the top of that cylinder 
so when you're putting the rings in the rings don't catch and break I'm not going to get all that mark out of there all that dullness we should be good Let you look at it here. Got a nice cross hatch in there. It goes from about right there over to about right there, and you can see the ridge. But the rest of the cylinder looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave her go like that. Okay. I'll continue.